this is interesting guys because Emil Joseph Dimer used Dimer Gambit or Dimer Chess Opening Trap or let's go with more obvious and logical explanation that the Dimer Gambit was named after Emil Joseph Dimer. So let's go and check if you are excited and interested to find out what kind of Gambit this Dimer is. Let's go. D4, D5, E4. Of course, the usual is C4 or Bishop F4, the London or Knight F3. But the Dimer Gambit is giving away a pawn. E4. D takes E, Knight C3, Knight F6. And since we're talking about the, um, Dimer Gambit here, F3. Another pawn to be sacrificed. Pawn takes or E takes F3. And instead of Knight takes F3, Emil Joseph Dimer went to Queen takes F3, giving away once again another pawn. This time in the center, D4. Queen takes D4. Bishop E3, Queen B4, and Castle. And in this position, Bishop G4 is coming. But let's go back a little bit here. White gave away two pawns or sacrificed two pawns for three conditions. Number one, quick activity or quick development. As you can see, um, white has one, two, three compared to black's two. And then castling is coming because if the rook will go here to support the pawn, this is a passive move. So white decided, let's go with castling and bishop g4. No, number one, um, white decided to sacrifice two pawns for quick development, which is acquired here. As you can see, castle three pieces out and then space. Let's go if there's space for the bishop, the queen, of course, this knight. Okay, check. And number three conditions, if you're going to go sacrifice your pawn, is you have to go for an opportunity to attack. Is there a chance for white to attack the position? This bishop is attacking the queen. If the queen moves and then bishop takes rook. Yes, there is. You may pause the video to analyze it. If you are ready, let's go for it. Knight to b5. The idea, of course, if bishop takes f3, knight c7, checkmate because the rook is covering the d file. If, for example, queen takes, bishop takes, check, and this queen will escape. So that's not a good move for, for black. Instead, um, black decided, okay, let's go with knight a6, protecting the c7 pawn. And... After of that, okay, let's go with queen takes b7. Stop attacking the rook and the knight at the same time. However, black committed an unexpected blunder by moving rook b8. Can you find the tomb of checkmate here? Queen takes rook, knight takes, and knight takes c7, checkmate. 